Welcome to another edition of Break It To Make It. Our competitors will be given a random object to bust open a hard to break thing. With cash on the line, who will come out on top? We're about to find out. All right, folks, we're here for what we call a Break It To Make It. Hey everyone, it's Sloan, and I'm just here to have fun and win a lot of money from my boss. I got the Break It To Make It blues. Oh, I've been warming up all day. This is cheaper than therapy. Let's break. Our first item is the adorable ice coffee keychain, freshly brewed at Vet 19. Pretty robust. It's thick. It's a lot heavier than you think it'd be. This one looks like a caramel macchiato. Mm, that is fake. That is not real coffee. Do not drink that. Oh, let's go, Tin. Coming at you. Sloan gets a clamp. A clamp is the brass knuckle of the wood shop. Order for number one. Daly gets a gigantic coffee mug. 19. Ben gets a tasteful yet affordable cafe decoration. This is by Marco Fabiano. This is an original, I think. I believe that piece I did exclusively for Big Lots. Number 15. I got the number 15. Can someone throw a quarter in his guitar case to see if he'll stop? Okay, what do I got? Give it to me. Cheer up with a jug of coffee creamer. This is triple churned, two times richer. Let's see if it's a uh, two times stronger. On that smooth note, let's break. You already know what's about to happen. Whoa, oh, this thing's resilient. That, I got the dome off. Oh, oh folks, you hate to see it. We're, we're shattering. I'm taking this to go, baby. The mini coffee continues to hold up against its mighty attacker. I mean, this is definitely a break, but we like to have a little fun around here. We do, we do. Bring it back. 10 seconds. I wonder if I can just squeeze it. I hear crunching. That's loose hot fudge. Sloan squeezes out the break. Uh, I think it's pretty broken. If it no longer makes a cute Instagram, then it's worthless. All right, that's done. That's it. Whipped cream's in pretty good shape. Not gonna lie about that, but the rest of it's shards. Yeah, that's a break, folks. Let's see if those breaks perk up our players for round two. Feeling good? Next item, please. It's the Mr. Potato Head mug. How could you make a Mr. Potato Head mug? All of the liquid would fall right out. Well, look at this. They've reversed it. There's a little innie on these and a little Audi on the mug. I have a number. I'm not gonna reveal it to you at home. I'm gonna show it to our producer so she can give me the proper tool. And the secret number yields a metal fry basket. Order up for Potato Head! An 18. What do I got? It's a potato peeler, the pencil sharpener of potatoes. Why don't we get old Steve some gloves? Bing. All right. 14. Ooh. Oh, it's a hot potato! It actually is a hot potato, what the heck? We got a six looking exactly like how this pal's about to look dented. In a bizarre twist of fate, Sloan gets a Mr. Potato Head toy. Mr. Potato Head on Mr. Potato Head crime is the worst kind of crime. Oops, I accidentally sowed chaos. The break. This is like cannibalism. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where's there a, a weak spot, Monsieur Potato Head? They say in Paris. Ben cooks up a little breaking cash. Ah! I'm just making mashed potatoes, this is tough. <gasps> that pencil sharpener means business. Potato break! The potatoes have been mashed, and now it's time for round three. Next item, what do we got? What? French fries! Not just French fries, French fries with faces. Plush French fries, okay. They actually Velcro in, so they don't fall out, which is cool. You can also just get an empty fresh fry, like hat maybe? If you buy the product, do what you want. For instance, you could break it on the internet for money. Now plush things are typically the most difficult to break, so we're gonna wanna make sure we get a good tool here. Oh my lord, 13. Steven gets French fries mortal enemy, ketchup. If the number is eight, you must potate. I don't know that word, but here's a bottle opener. I've selected number four. Oh! Ben gets an apparently slippery crowbar. 
Order number 17. Dahlia's gonna spice things up with some pepper. Oh, pre-break seasoning. Enough pre-dinner chat, let's break. There is a blade in here somewhere. Can we pause for gloves? All right, fine, fine, have it your way. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Not sponsored, yet. Call me. I don't know if I've really used a proper crowbar before. Ugh. Plush ones always make you feel so weak. That could also be your lack of muscle mass. Sloan ripping through those fries like she skipped lunch. Which one of you is the weakest? Tell me, Simba. Don't bother. I told them that snitches lose stitches. Don't look at me like that! What? Oh, I made a small gash. Now we're getting somewhere, folks. Yeah, let's just keep this safe in here. That's what we call fast fashion. Sloan destroys her very cool hat for the break. Ten seconds. Done, that's a break. Easy. Negative points for lying. I gotta get a little rip going on each one here. Oh. This guy, he even got like a little neck wound. <laughs> Who would put ketchup in such a cute, plush little thing? And that's time. Why are we doing this? For my selfish amusement, of course, and it continues in round four. Now why doesn't somebody rustle me up a new item to break? How about an old-fashioned chonky cat? They're like the kind of Russian nesting dolls your grandma might have had. Up, uh, up, uh, up! Uh. Whoa, number nine, folks! A plush cat! We got a commenter suggestion by at Apple Games. At Apple Games wants you to use the cat bonnet. And to see your name in the game, email your idea to breaks at vat19.com. Well, give me a litter box, because that's a cat number two. Bring me a cat! The next best thing, a ball of rubber bands. I'm guessing like a ball of yarn is the synergy here. I've requested number 12. I've been assured that this will lead to success. It's a very practical pair of movable cat ears. This is gonna make me look dumb. That's the point. Now break. <laughs> ah. Chalky cats always land on their feet. So nice knowing you all. It breaks my heart to have to do this. Okay. Pieces are dissembled out. I don't know if that makes it easier or harder. These are tough little kitties. Daly is having more fun with a bonnet than anyone ever. 30 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you, clock man. I think. Yep. That one landed on its feet. Who made these cats so chalky? Let's whole body break. Ugh. They gotta be like toast, right? <laughs> if you guys could see the floor right now, that thing's shattered. No, don't pick it up. Just believe me. I need to see the body before you can collect your bounty. Cats appear to be intact. The cat ears, not so much. Well, we got some cracks and scuffs. That's it. That's a break. Moving on to the big money bonus round, where each player will have to break into two cans. One is our can save can with a bag of money inside. The other is a real can, and they're both filled with Del Monte fruit cocktail. What am I gonna break this with? 16. An ice pick. You better boop yourself some gloves again. Boop. All right. 11. Daily draws a large piece of wood. I'll take a partially erased five. Ben draws a hammer. Two cans of fruit, one Sloan, weapon seven. Well, can I use this as intended? I guess. Now break. Which one do I shoot? Him. Snip, 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 snip. Dang, that pierced. Did it work? I mean, it's a metal can. It's gonna take a couple whacks. A normal can shouldn't do that. Wait a minute. Oh, it's fruit. Oh, wait. It's not just fruit. That's the can safe with a fresh $100. Okay, I think this is an actual cocktail of fruit in this can. I'm moving on to this can. Daily finds the fruit loot. What is this, the cheap seats only 100 now? Inflation. Oh, jeez. 
Honestly, I would argue that now this is a more effective safe. Everyone has a dinged up thing of Del Monte in the back. I got the Del Monte can of fruit blues. Thank you, good night. Oh, and that's the game. Be sure to check out all of our cool products at bat19.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bat19.com.